and I cannot tell you how bad it tastes. <laughs> it tasted terrible. And that was a real eye opener to me. Hey guys, and welcome back to Primal Genetics. My name is Farouk, and I'm going to be taking you through my third week on the keto raw diet. So without wasting too much time, let's get into it. So for those of you who haven't seen my previous videos, both week one and week two, go back and have a check just to kind of see what I've, what I've been up to in the past couple of weeks. But just to go over quickly, the reason I started the keto raw diet was simply because I had a blood test done earlier in the year and it really, really showed that my blood sugar levels were at pre-diabetic levels. I was most definitely insulin resistant and pre-diabetic and really it gave me a shot in the arm that I needed to do something about it. Looking into different diets and different research, which was something I was always interested in anyway, I discovered and realized that the keto and the carnivore diet would be the best um, diet for me to reverse this insulin resistance and to get my body back into a better place. So that's why I started it. And I have to say so far, the results have been amazing. This week, I have lost another two kilos. So, so far, altogether, lost about eight kilos in three weeks, feeling really, really good. And I just want to take you guys through what my experiences have been this week. So, like I said, first of all, let's talk about my weight loss. Two kilos, which has been amazing this week. Um, I'm really starting to feel lighter. I think that's an amazing feeling right now. I really start to feel lighter. I feel like my body's moving differently as I walk. I feel like I'm faster. It's a really great feeling when you start to lose weight and actually start to feel the effects of it. Last week, I, I spoke about wanting to add exercise back into my workouts. The previous two weeks, I had lost six kilos without really doing any exercise, which was quite astonishing to me because to get to the weight that I had got to last week, I had never not really killed myself in the gym. And so this week, I, just, I really did want to add exercise back in. And this is what, exactly what I did. I worked out four times this week. I did two home weight workouts, which was basically body weight workouts, as well as two sprint sessions. And so I worked out four times this week. That was added in and really starting to feel fitter, really starting to feel good. And that's probably helped me contribute to the extra two kilos that I've lost this week as well. Food wise, uh, I've also added in more offal. So offal is basically, I'm eating nose to tail. In the, in the carnival community, it's known as eating nose to tail. And basically offal is the most nutrient dense foods uh, we basically have on the planet. Um, liver, uh, heart, kidneys, these kind of foods. These are the kind of foods I've been adding into my diet this week, which has been incredible in terms of, I feel an extra energy um, boost which has been really, really nice in terms of um, just my feeling around the day and how I've been, just how I feel throughout the day. So uh, those are the two things I really added in this week. Extra exercise, which I had definitely planned on, and also eating nose to tail, which I think is a very important part of eating the carnival diet and definitely getting a balanced nutrition when it comes to um, eating basically animal products only. So uh, in future videos, I'll definitely be going into why I think offal is important and why I think that should really be f part of any carnival diet. So now I want to talk about what's changed in this week, what's changed basically since I've started the diet. Um, one thing I was really, I didn't, I wouldn't say addicted, but <laughs> when, I, when I look back now, I probably was addicted to was Coke Zero. I used to have Coke Zero almost every other day, if not every day. And it was something that I would have with my food, either dinner, lunch, or if I went out to restaurants. And it was just a normal uh, beverage for me. I had it all the time. I did drink a lot of water. So I'm not the person who replaced it with water or replaced water with Coke, but I did have um, a lot of Coke Zero. And I haven't had one, basically, since I started this diet three weeks ago, which is by far the longest time I haven't had uh, a Coke Zero. I had a bit of extra time earlier in the week and decided that calorie wise, it didn't really fit. Uh, it didn't really go against what I was trying to do is zero calories. You know, when we look into whether it's zero sugar or not, th there's a lot of debate about that. But in terms of calorie wise, it said it wasn't adding anything to my diet. So I decided to have one and I cannot tell you how bad it tasted. <laughs> it tasted terrible. And that was a real eye opener to me because I think I had given my tongue and my taste buds time to change and actually enjoy natural foods. So for me, going back now and having 
something like Coke Zero, which used to be a normal part of my diet, and having that taste so bad and so weird and really artificial. That's the that's the that's the word I'd use to describe it. It tasted really artificial. So that was a really eye opener for me. That was a real eye opener for me. Sorry, and um, something that I didn't anticipate. Um, doing this diet initially. Another great thing that's happened is my clothes are starting to feel better. Um, I'm, my jackets, there's a couple of my jumpers, they're really starting to feel more comfortable. I feel more comfortable in my clothes and I feel like they're starting to look better as well. And obviously having lost eight kilos, nearly 10 kilos, I think, you know, my body shape is definitely changing as well. But the clothes, especially when I put my trousers on, when I put my jogging bottoms on, everything is starting to feel a little bit more comfortable. So that's just been a great feeling this week. I definitely have started to feel that. And I hope that continues as we go forward. I also have a lot of clothes that um that don't fit me anymore that I used to wear maybe, you know, five, six years ago that don't fit me anymore. And so it's going to be interesting to see if I can get back into those clothes uh, in the future. So that's something I'm going to be looking forward to as well. And lastly, the main thing I want to talk to you about, which I felt this week is no cravings. I mean, no cravings. This is the first time in my life that I have experienced no cravings. I've heard people talk about this before. I've heard people say, you know, when they're going on a keto diet, it affects your your energy levels, your balance and your energy balance. And you people talk about not feeling hungry or things like this. I have never experienced this in my life before until now. I can go for hours and hours and hours without feeling hungry. By the time I approach my food, I'm eating because it's time for me to eat, not because I'm starving, I can't control myself. And when I get in front of the meal, I can control how much I have. I don't feel like I need to devour everything in front of me. It has been incredible to feel this way. I literally have not felt, I'd say, for the past two weeks. So the first week, I definitely had hunger pangs. Just adjusting to the whole diet was definitely tough. Uh, so go back to the first week if you want to know more about that. But for the past two weeks, I really have not felt any, any hunger, which has been insane for me. That Again, like I said... This is something that I've never experienced before in my life. So this has been a real, real, real eye opener for me. Definitely something that I think you will look forward to if you uh, jumped on the keto raw diet. And um, it's definitely something, an experience that I'm really enjoying. Not being a slave to my cravings is something that I'm really, really enjoying. So that alone really in the past three weeks has been probably one of my favorite experiences just that lack of that lack of craving has definitely been something that i'm i'm really really enjoying and so yeah that, that's my third week roundup of the keto raw diet so far it has truly been an amazing experience i cannot lie um my there's been so many things that have become eye-openers to me in terms of just my old habits and my old ways and how much they have changed and how much I don't miss them. That's been incredible. How much I do not miss my old ways, how much my, my old habits, my old foods. And I'm really looking forward to um, what the future holds with this diet. From next week, I am going to be showing you my some before and afters of my four week change. So I look forward to doing that. And yeah, we're just gonna keep rooting forward. So if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, like, comment. If you have any questions for me as well, please get in the comment section. Ask away. I'm happy to answer any questions as we continue to push forward and see where we can go with this diet. Uh, I'm really feeling good. I believe this is really, really important, not just for my external, because like, like I said in my first video, I'm definitely trying to get a great body. But I, more importantly, I feel like this is really uh, helping me internally. Like I said, I really started this because of my uh, insulin resistance and because of my pre-diabetic pre uh, blood sugar levels. So... This, uh, I believe, is really taking me into the right direction and we will uh, continue to do so. I also have an Instagram. If you want to see what kind of exercises I'm doing and if you want to see what kind of food I'm doing, you can follow me on Primal Genetics underscore. That's Primal Genetics underscore. Uh, I'm on Instagram just um, showing more of my exercise stuff and my diet stuff is over there. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe there. Subscribe over here. We're just, we're going to keep moving. I'm going to keep uh, making videos for you, documenting my journey. Thank you very much. See you later, guys. Bye.